Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Earlier on today, I was actually able to sit in on a call with Raven, Infinity Ward, and Treyarch in regards to some previews for Season 3 Reloaded, including a lot of details on Ranked. And coinciding with that, we just got a brand new blog detailing all of the major season three reloaded ranked play update details so this is one of the most game-changing updates that we've seen for warzone ever between warzone one and warzone two ranked play is a game changer flat out uh it's going to completely change how some of your public lobbies feel because the sweatier players will be in a ranked and it finally gives us an actual reason to want to grind and showcase skill in warzone other than just flexing in youtube videos or you know showing high kds and whatnot so this is ranked play and as we go through this blog i'll uh, i'll give some of the additional details that might not be mentioned here initially that we learned from this call with treyarch and raven and uh those at infinity ward who uh were the leads of ranked play so the basics we've got our skill divisions we've got this whole image here so it's going to be similar skill divisions just like to uh multiplayer ranked as well with bronze silver gold platinum diamond crimson iridescent in the top 250 and you can see there are sr thresholds for all of these 900 for silver of course everyone's going to start in bronze 2100 for gold 3600 for plat 5400 for diamond 7500 for crimson 10,000 for iridescent and 10,000 plus for the top 250 there's also going to be the basic ranks to rank one two three four all the way up through rank 50 just like in multiplayer as well and you uh earn your ranks by doing various things in uh matches right so if i go to my notes here for finishing first you get three stars towards your rank top 10 is two stars towards your rank top 25 is one star towards your overall rank there and there's also sr changes throughout the match which is really cool quite frankly i will say when it comes down to warzone 2 ranks yes it's still warzone 2 gameplay if it was warzone 1 gameplay it'd be even better but as far as the overall like display of the competitiveness i just punched the mic the overall display of the competitiveness goes the way the sr works and how you rank up and everything it's a really really cool system and quite frankly i really do like it my honest opinion there uh so your kills and assists all count for the same amount of sr and then your placement gives you uh, an sr when you deploy into a match there are sr fees and they increase as you are a higher skill level so minimum sr fee for playing in bronze and uh silver and gold higher SR fees for joining games on Crimson, Iridescent, Top 250, so on and so forth. But as the uh, match continues and the squad number decreases, you get more points, more SR for every kill and assist you get, which is actually huge. Then for every placement, you also get more SR. There's going to be various different rewards as well available for this. There's going to be certain in-season ranked challenges specifically. So there's going to be some challenges the devs told us, not mentioned here on this little uh, you know image, that there's going to be challenges for kills and assists, and then also challenges for placements as well. So you have certain things to grind there in particular. Now, basic rundown of what ranked is going to be. It's going to be trios only, and you have to play as a trio. The devs mentioned, yes, you can search for a party. If you're a solo trying to drop in, it'll put you into a party with two other players. It might be a duo. It might be two other solos, but it's only going to be trios. You cannot load into a game as a duo or as a solo. If you do, it's going to kick you out, make you search for a new match. You'll have SR forgiveness in that case. It is going to take place on Almazra in Battle Royale only. Now, there's going to be no public events, no fire sales, no redeploys, uh, no jailbreaks, nothing like that. It's just straight up gameplay. There are some vehicle restrictions, no turreted vehicles, no heavy choppers. There's also some restricted gameplay mechanics as well. No multiple circles. It's going to be one singular circle. Uh, the redeploy mechanics, there is only redeploy to, uh, protection when your screen is like sort of fading in from black. And the only ban currently is the riot shield. Now, something you won't see initially here on the uh, blog is what the devs told us in this call about the restrictions. Right now, the riot shield is the only restrict item so you can use shotguns you can use explosives all this that and whatever else however the restrictions are going to be updated over time they are going to be re-evaluated every single season so say here in season three the basilisk snake shots are crazy broken for whatever instance and this is just an example right not actually relevant but say the basilisk is super broken next season they might say, okay, the Basilisk is restricted. So is the Riot Shield. But then season four reloaded drops and they nerf the Basilisk. Well, then the Basilisk is no longer restricted. So we could see a restricted list of weapons and uh, other options. Maybe it's some perks, maybe it's some equipment go from one item like it is now at the Riot Shield to 15 items next season. We'll just have to 
wait and see um, there are seven different skill divisions of course in this with all players beginning at bronze one as mentioned this is a beta though so all this stuff is subject to change as time goes on we just went through all the different sr breakdowns as well uh these are the actual deployment fees you can see so bronze there is no deployment fee silver it goes up to 18 gold up to 33 so you'll have to pay sr every time you jump into a match but you're going to see exactly how much sr you're earning throughout the match as well which is really nice at the end of each season players are knocked back to the lowest tier one division below where they ended the season for example a gold three player at the end of season three reloaded will start at silver one while a diamond two player will go down to plat one very similar to how it worked back uh, in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer ranked as well. So no real surprises there. However, the highest division at which players can start a new season is Diamond 1. So anyone that is Crimson, Iridescent, or Top 250, they're all going back down to Diamond 1. We've also got some additional new features as we jump into this portion of the blog. Quick reminder, if you guys are new here, every single day I got you covered with news, updates, class setups, tips, you name it, it's all right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. And if you guys enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like on it if you guys are excited for ranked would be seriously appreciated now as far as new features go sr forgiveness and demotion protection are going to be staying there is a squad back out though where essentially if your squad does not end up fully infilling or something you don't have three players ready at the start of a game it's going to back you out no sr will be taken from you it'll just research a new lobby for you match canceling will also happen there uh if the match for whatever can't fill up it's not going to take your sr either there will be suspensions though if you disconnect like over and over and over and over again and whatnot uh this team will have an update when new features are introduced for both ranked play modes ricochet also being enforced here and always being updated over time to the victor and most dedicated go the spoils obviously we can see some of the rewards here with like the operator skins whatnot i won't lie the white and blue like sort of camo pattern here i think looks really clean you can kind of see it there as well uh now for the good stuff the rewards ranking up and completing seasonal placement and challenges all these rewards are unique to and separate from mw2 ranked play so it's not going to be copy and paste from over there it's not like if you get it in one you'll get it in both two different ranked play uh you know experiences two different sets of rewards so we already talked about the stars and how that'll work when you rank up though one through 50 you're gonna get a vehicle skin at rank five you'll get a, a gun screen at rank 30 you'll get an operator skin at rank 50 so that's how you get some of the rewards as well you also then get your placement rewards for the overall season which include a pro issue weapon blueprint based off a popular weapon choice among the community during season three and a weapon charm i think it was an actual uh what was it an iso hemlock i think is what they previewed but we'll have to wait and see uh if that ends up changing based off of our dev call right lastly due to a shortened season we want players to use season three reloaded to jockey for division placement in season four therefore end of seasonal division rewards will be available starting in season four but we want to emphasize that if you finish at least in crimson in season three reloaded you will start at diamond one for next season uh with that said expect emblems charms and more rewards especially for reaching the top 250 and number one this does actually confirm uh via our dev call here that if you are in the top 250 you get that custom top 250 uh calling card with your rank for the season and if you are the number one ranked player in the world at the end of a season you'll get a custom emblem and a custom uh calling card as well i won't lie i think it'd be a lot cooler if you got like a weapon blueprint or an operator skin or something but it's free rewards it is what it is they could certainly be cooler though i won't lie a couple of other important notes just from my dev call here that were not included in this blog though hence why it's important to watch to the end right you have to be level 45 to be able to jump into warzone rank so no fresh accounts can jump in and play you got to go through that rank up session which is nice it's going to deter some hackers from jumping into ranked which obviously is going to be a huge deal right uh, as far as the actual party up goes it's going to be similar to modern warfare 2 multiplayer bronze through plat can play together but then diamonds can only play within two skill divisions of themselves and then uh crimson and iridescent and whatnot can only play within one skill division so it's going to be restricted based on that obviously once you get up into diamond and crimson and iridescent the load times in the lobby queue times are going to be a lot longer filling lobbies with just those style of players that being said though that's pretty much everything you need to know about the most game-changing update in warzone 2's history so far with ranked play like i said we also learned some other additional just update details from this dev call so i'll be going over those in a separate video likely later on this weekend so stay tuned for that make sure you are subscribed with those noties turned on but if you guys enjoyed this video let me know by dropping a like on it and once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later Peace out.